In this video, we will explore how Microsoft is leveraging their new OpenAI partnership to conquer the internet search industry, enhance their existing software products, and develop an AI assistant capable of achieving artificial general intelligence. With that said, our dedicated team here at Nanalyze has researched, written, and curated hundreds of in-depth articles on everything from quantum computing to AI chatbots. The Nanalyze article, Five Natural Language Processing companies using GPT-3 was the inspiration for this very video. If you would like to support Nanalyze and support these videos directly, then please click the first link in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. It's very much appreciated. Also check out our free newsletter linked below. On January 23rd, 2023, legendary software giant Microsoft announced a $10 billion multi-year investment in the San Francisco-based artificial intelligence firm OpenAI. Since Microsoft's initial $1 billion investment in OpenAI in 2019, the partnership has strengthened, with both companies becoming increasingly reliant on each other's services. On February 8th, 2023, Microsoft undoubtedly made the greatest business decision in the company's recent history when they unveiled the integration of OpenAI's GPT-3 family of large language models into their Bing search engine and Edge web browser. When typing a query into the current Bing search engine, you're met with links to websites similar to Google Chrome and Yahoo Search. The new Bing now displays both links to websites and more in-depth information on a side panel. This added information is sourced directly from websites, which allows you to read the information you need without encountering any distracting adverts. This information is also cited for further reading and suggested search terms are included. This feature alone puts the capabilities of Bing light years ahead of Google Chrome. However, it gets even better. When you click the new chat feature on Bing, you're met by a state-of-the-art chatbot in the style of ChatGPT, where you can enter queries up to 2,000 characters. The Bing chatbot also understands context, remembers your previous searches, and encourages you to be more conversational if you're unsure what exact questions to ask. The new Bing is currently unavailable to the public. However, we can still demonstrate its capabilities with OpenAI's ChatGPT chatbot. Unlike the new Bing, ChatGPT's internet knowledge is outdated and some responses may be incorrect. However, it provides an inside look of what a conversation with the new Bing may look like. Here are a few examples shown on screen now. On the left, we have responses from the current Bing search engine. And on the right, we have responses from ChatGPT. Microsoft's Edge browser also has GPT-3 functionality, which grants you the ability to extract and summarize information from web pages and PDF documents. On February 6th, 2023, Google announced their competing AI called Bard, which operates on Google's Lambda language model. Bard's promotional video was met with bitter disappointment and outcry as the AI gave an incorrect answer to the question, what new discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope can I tell my nine-year-old about? Although correct responses were given, Bard replied, JWST took the very first pictures of a planet outside of our solar system. This is incorrect. The first exoplanet pictures were captured by the Very Large Telescope, or VLT, in 2004, approximately 17 years before James Webb was launched. This inaccurate response from Bard, in addition to an unpolished and unprofessional presentation by Google, resulted in Google's parent company, Alphabet, losing $100 billion of market capitalization in a single trading day. Now that we understand the technological disruption caused by the Microsoft OpenAI partnership, let's delve into the financial disruption that can forever alter the internet search engine landscape. As of 2023, Google has 92% market share of search engines worldwide. Microsoft Bing has 3% market share. Google generates 80% of its revenue from its search advertising business, which equated to $224.47 billion in 2022. Only 6% of Microsoft's revenue was generated from its search advertising business, which equated to $11.59 billion during the same year. In this scenario, Google has more to lose with regards to revenue generation because it has greater exposure to its search advertising business. 
the new Bing far exceeds the capabilities of Google Search with its in-depth information side panel, cited sources, suggested search terms, and AI chatbot functionality. It's simply a superior product, which will improve exponentially over time, drawing users away from Google's flagship product. Soon after Google's presentation Quagmire, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella was interviewed by the Wall Street Journal, where he stated, stay tuned, I fully expect us to introduce these capabilities, quite frankly, across the length and breadth of Microsoft. Google's G Suite, which encompasses Gmail, Docs, Sheets, slides, etc., currently has 50% market share of major Office productivity software worldwide as of 2022, whereas Microsoft Office has 46% market share. If Microsoft were to integrate GPT-3 functionality into Microsoft Office, it will become more useful and versatile than G Suite products. A GPT-3 enabled word could refine or rewrite entire paragraphs, improving coherence and readability. Outlook could reply to emails automatically and intelligently. PowerPoint could use OpenAI's DALI 2 to generate custom images for presentations and provide you with design and formatting cues. Although G Suite is free to Google account holders with paid options for increased cloud storage, it still plays a crucial role in generating traffic for Google's other products, helping expand the Google ecosystem. If this user base switches to Microsoft Office, Google may struggle to grow their productivity software business in the future. With Microsoft's strategic investment in OpenAI and subsequent 49% ownership stake in the firm, they find themselves in a position of superiority over other technology titans. Together with a first mover advantage, 1.4 billion monthly active Windows users, 29 million Office users, and 8.1 million Azure users, Microsoft can realize OpenAI's ultimate goal of achieving artificial general intelligence, or AGI. To give a brief overview, the AI that powers the world today is Artificial Narrow Intelligence, or ANI. ANI is designed to expertly carry out a single type of task, like the YouTube algorithm showing you this video. ANI is incapable of transferring acquired knowledge and applying it to another type of task. By combining the astonishing adaptability of the GPT-3 language model and vast quantities of user data collected by Microsoft's software empire, a primitive form of AGI could be created. The question is, how will it engage with humans and benefit our civilization? Platforms such as Synthesia and Colossian empower users to create custom talking head style videos with their library of AI avatars and AI voiceovers. Perhaps we could see Microsoft taking a similar approach to this as a replacement for Cortana, which had its mobile application discontinued in early 2021. Microsoft can utilize GPT-3, text-to-speech, speech-to-text, and AI avatars to synthesize an AGI assistant or companion. This AGI can disrupt a myriad of industries, including education, healthcare, entertainment, and aid in the pursuit of answering humanity's greatest unanswered questions. If you would like to see a dedicated video on this, then please let us know in the comment section below. It can be difficult to fathom such a reality. However, with Microsoft's highly skilled 220,000 employees, OpenAI partnership, immediate integration of GPT-3 into existing products, and $100 billion of cash, some think Microsoft could be the best risk-adjusted consumer artificial intelligence company in the stock market. Would you consider investment in Microsoft stock because of the OpenAI partnership? Or will Google go back to the drawing board with BART and release a more refined version? Let us know in the comments section below which company you prefer to invest in. With that said, if you would like to support Nanalyze and gain access to hundreds of premium articles, then please click the first link in the description box below. Also check out our free newsletter linked below. Thank you so much for your support and feel free to click the video on screen now as it contains an exceedingly powerful message which can assist you on your investing journey.